YouTube family, welcome to my channel Decorate with Manas. How are you? In this video, we are going to turn these waste cardboard boxes and metal boxes into very pretty looking makeup organizers. Not only will these makeup organizers look extremely cute, but they are also going to be very functional for your everyday makeup application needs. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Okay, so first we are going to need some waste boxes, some acrylic colors and brushes, and finally some masking tape. The first project is a foundation organizer and for that I'm taking this cylindrical cardboard box and uh, I actually tried to remove the wrapper, this, this film also, but I feel miserably I couldn't take it off because it's sticking so hard. But it doesn't matter because we are going to paint it anyway. So let's begin. I wanted my organizer to have two colors separated by almost like a slanted line. So I'm starting off by putting masking tape on the box at an angle and cutting off the excess. Now there's no fixed angle or anything so I just put it at a random angle which looked good to me and then I went ahead with that. And I put another strip on the other side of the box to create two sections separated by masking tape. The exciting part begins now as it's time to paint. And the first paint that I chose is this peachy pink color. Yeah, it's a bit cliched, but it's fine. I didn't want to overthink this. It looked cute, it felt good. So I just went ahead with this peachy pink color. And this shade of muted peachy pink, almost like a rose gold color, looks very pretty and it's makeup. So you can't really go wrong with pink. So I painted two coats of this color and that was enough to hide the background and give a very even finished look. Then I removed the masking tape from both the sides to reveal this sharp, edgy line and it's starting to look so good already you guys. Wow, the lines have come out really clean. Okay, the second step is to put the masking tape again to save a pink color and start painting with the second color. And the color that I've chosen is mustard yellow because honestly mustard yellow is one of my favorite colors. Again, the lines look really clean and the color has bled at some parts but it's fine. We can just quickly fix it with going over with a brush. Two quick coats on the top of the lid as well and we are done with the base. Now begins the fun part, basically painting a design over the box and because it's for keeping my foundations, I went ahead with this abstract minimal line face art. I wanted to keep it really feminine but yet simple, you know what I mean? And I found my inspiration on Pinterest actually. Pinterest is so amazing for finding inspiration. I just love it. Now it's a makeup organizer and it has to look glamorous. So to add glamour, I added touches of gold color to add some visual juice and wow factor to my design. And truth be told, it might look easy, but I actually practiced it a lot on paper before going on my box. I also wanted to add a touch of vintage. So I basically added a decorative knob on the top of the lid. It's cardboard, so it was super easy to just puncture a hole, put in the knob and secure it from the back of the side. It's these kind of details that will make our DIYs look more elevated and more elegant. And with that, we are done with our first project, which is our foundation organizer. It looks so cute. Love it. For the second project, I am making a lipstick organizer. And I think the height of this box is perfect for carrying lipsticks. The only thing is the lipsticks won't stand on it because they keep falling so we are going to do a DIY hack for that. So here again we are starting off by taping the box to create that dual tone slanted design that we did on the previous box. Now pink is going to be the running theme in all the storage boxes. So we are starting with a few coats of pink on the first side. To add a bit of drama and vibrancy I chose blue as the second color. So I quickly did a few coats of blue and it started looking so good already. Wow, the color combination looks really good. Now for the design, I'm drawing lips because duh, it's our lipstick organizer. Now lips come in all shapes, colors and sizes. So draw them however you like and I'm sure they will still look very cute. And again, I'm adding some details with gold to add that touch of glamour. Okay, so now the design is complete and I'm doing a hack so that our lipsticks stand tall in the box and do not fall. For that, I'm taking thick paper and cutting them to size so that they fit in the box. We just need four of these and I'm cutting two incisions in each of them so that they kind of fit into each other and form a grid. After that, we just had to slide it in the box and the organizer was complete. Looks good and works well. That's a win-win. 
for the next one i'm taking this box it's it's a metal chocolate box it was a gift but i'm making a eye makeup organizer for this one well you guessed it right we are starting off by putting tape so as to divide the shape into almost two triangles and i'm coloring one half of the box in the same pink that we have had in the other two boxes to maintain the color scheme that we have had so far for the second color i'm going in with this rich olive green that looks so pretty and honestly the color combination looks much better than i had expected for the design i am drawing cute eyes so basically i drew two semicircles and then added thick lashes to the eyes now i don't have thick eyelashes but my design can definitely have them i like this design so much that i ended up making a lot more and i added more details because i love adding details so i added a few more graphic elements to the eyes that we just made I mean let's be real makeup is all about self expression and experimentation so I went ahead with that spirit and explored shapes and designs on my eyes as always I added some details with the gold as well and that finished this project and it looks so cute and the last one is a pringles box and we're going to just cut it and make it into a brush holder This project was probably the easiest of the four. I just basically cut it to size and the next step was to paint it. I taped it and went in with two coats of the peachy pink color that we have. For the design, I thought diamonds would be really cute to have on this. I mean, I don't have a diamond but my design could definitely have one. I wish somebody gave me a diamond, but I guess it's too much to ask for. That's why I ask only for a like. So please give me a like, ek like de do yaar video pe and subscribe bhi kar do. So I made two diamonds and then added more details. I painted a glowing effect to my diamonds using gold color and that made it really stand out and that extra layer of wow to my diamonds. So I added the second color off camera and that completed this project and it looks so cute. So that's the video guys all my makeup is now organized in these cute upcycle makeup organizers i'm pretty happy with how these have turned out they look absolutely cute and they are very functional i'm not really happy with how this one turned out because there are too many eyes in it the design has become very busy but it's okay i mean i can just paint them over and change the design anytime i want it's a fun weekend project that you can also do with your kids so with that if you like my video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel i share content on home decor and diy regularly i keep it real i keep it simple and i keep it fun i'll see you in my next video bye